Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Stacey. If anybody is new and joining me for the first time, thank you so much. My slogan is believable brown beauty. That doesn't mean you have to be brown to stay and participate. It is just an explanation of the makeup I do on this channel. Sometimes I like to use makeup in slightly unconventional ways. So if that sounds like something you'd like, please keep watching. Today is another morning makeup. If you can't tell already, I have my deep voice and my puffy face. Um, it is 6 this morning so a little bit later than last time I have to apologize for the noise I live underneath a flight path which you can hear a plane going over right now but yesterday it got up to like 36 degrees which is like 95 in Fahrenheit if you don't use Celsius where you are and my flat hasn't cooled down so I cannot have the window shut today it's just way way too hot Today's video is going to be a review or a how-to with a new palette that I just bought and I haven't felt like I needed to buy a new palette for a long time until this one came out because the colours in it just screamed to me and it's something that I know that I'll use it. So for that reason I'm not going to spend too much time on my makeup because I want to try and show you as many looks as possible and I'm on borrow time because a man's could wake up any minute so I'm going to get straight into it. I've just got on really moisturiser on, I haven't used any primer because I'm not keeping this makeup on today, it is too hot. But first, I'm going to start with my foundation. I'm using the Cover FX Power Play in G110. I'm just going to take a buffing brush from Real Techniques and just quickly whack that on. So now my base is on. Before I forget, I'm going to set my brows. I'm using my Benefit 24 Hour Brow Setter. My Struggling. And the Good Brow. Next, I'm moving on to concealer. The usual Nars Radiant Creamy Concealer, but in Cafe instead of Amand because I have a deeper skin colour, I've definitely got a tan at the moment, so I'm just going to pop that on. Today I'm just going to use my finger, I don't always use the brush, and just pat that in. I'm going to use a tiny bit of Amand on my eyelids, it's a bit lighter. And blend again. Also I forgot to say when I was doing my foundation I didn't put any on my forehead at all. I'm just going to use some powder at the end of it to kind of balance it all out. Okay, let's get cracking. So, this is the Nude on Nude collection from Bobbi Brown. And this is the palette that I bought. This is the Bronzed News Limited Edition palette. But the colours in here are gorgeous. And it's something that I know that I'll use all the time. If you follow me on my Instagram, you'll know like I had a little bit of a hoo-ha because I wanted to go and buy the rose um, palette, the nude rose palette but then when I got there I was like no you actually really don't need this, there's so many colours in here that you could create that may not be exactly the same but are really similar but this one I know that I'll definitely use a lot so I'm going to start with black chocolate and just pop my crease in first and blend that through Oh, there's a mirror in the palette, I forgot. I'm just going to use this instead and stop straining my eyes. I need to go and like find some new frames. I got my eyes tested um, a couple of weeks ago and I need a new set of glasses. Which is not really any useful when I do YouTube because I can't wear them. And do makeup at the same time, so yeah. Then I'm going to take copper chocolate and I'm just using a flat brush. I'm going to stamp this all over my lid. This is a really easy palette to wear. This is like a really lovely day look. If you work in an environment that's really conservative or, you know, you just favour nude shadows more, get this palette. It's really good. The shadows are really easy to blend. They go on really nicely. So this is going to be my first look. I'm going to take a smaller brush, go back into black chocolate and just create a deeper corner. Then I'm taking an angled brush. This is the definer brush from Real Techniques and I'm just doing a really, really soft powdered uh, liner. But only like halfway along my eye. Next, I'm going with my mascara. So, extended play. First, you could just wear that on its own, but you know I'm gonna top it up with my other one. 
coming in extreme dimension. This palette would have been great when I did that Meghan Markle look. Perfect. It is a very Meghan Markle-esque palette. It's all new, real, like classic colours that will never go out of fashion. I don't know if it's just me, but like I see all these palettes and they're put together in a really beautiful way. Like they look incredible. But then, like, how much of it will you use? I just don't get it. And it's like there's a new palette every day, every week. And I'm like, but I haven't got through the old one. And this, even if you wore makeup every day, it will still take you a long time to get through one palette. I don't know. I don't know. Like, I just feel like there's so much pressure to always buy new things. So you seem like you're the most relevant or the most latest person, but are you, like, just buying stuff for the sake of buying stuff? Or do you actually like it? Because I only try and buy things if I really like them. I used to be really bad with clothes. I just used to buy things because I could. But as I've gotten a bit older, I don't know, I've just got a bit more... a bit more aware of the impact my buying has on the planet and gosh this is get this is going this is basically what happens to my Instagram on Sundays so if you don't follow me I'll leave my hand over you here but I end up having chats like this to myself and then with my um followers that, that watch oh, my watchers followers but you know the people that watch and I have discussions but anyway as I was saying I don't know I just got a lot more aware of my buying um habits and the impact it has on the environment and the message that I could be potentially sending to my children. I only have one child at the moment, but I'm planning on having more. No, I'm not pregnant right now. I just want more children in the future. So I try and be careful about what I spend money on. And I only buy things if I really love them. Same with clothes, with food, with everything. I just feel like all of us need to be a little bit more careful when we buy things because it does have an impact so gosh I am really going off on one it does really have an impact on the planet and I don't know I think I've always I mean my brothers and my sister have always teased me and they've always called me an eco warrior because I was that kid that, like no you need to put it in the recycling but I think also since I've had my son I've just become much more aware that everything I do now will have an impact on him especially when I'm not here and then if he has children his behavior will have an impact on his kids so yeah, I think it's definitely changed my perspective on spending and consumerism, which is not what I was going to talk about today on this video. It's just stick to the topic. It's supposed to be an eye demo palette, but eye palette demo, but yeah. Anyway, I really like this. Super, super pretty. I am going to set my foundation. I'm using my Cover FX Matte Setting Palette in number five. I'm just going all over. I don't really want my under eyes to be much brighter than this today, so I'm going to leave it as is. And remember before I said I didn't put any foundation on my forehead, it's because I knew I was going to use this powder. It's got a bit of coverage to it. It's quite warm, so it will match up with my much more bronzy forehead at the moment and kind of marry everything together. And I'm taking Fleur Power Blush, my favourite. All this I'm using the same brush as well so that just goes to show if you don't overload a foundation you can use your same brush for powder and blush and it doesn't go weird so maybe that might be something for you to have a go at especially if you're doing a makeup en route which is basically my life a little blush next I am using a Bobbi Brown lip gloss this is a new one that I just got called buff It's a nice colour. I think this is one of these lip glosses that will be really good on everyone. That's a good one. I'm pleased with that purchase. Okay, I'm going to put a tiny bit more blush on because I feel like I could do with a little bit more. Just to rosy up the cheeks a bit more. This is the first look. Okay, 
now I'm going to quickly change just to wait there one second. Okay, and as if by magic, and that one's gone, and I'm going to do a second look. I can hear that Amanda is stirring, so I'm only going to get to do two, but maybe, yeah, on my Instagram on Sunday, I might do a different look with this palette. So let's get straight into it because I really don't have much time. Okay, I'm going to go back into the palette and I'm taking a color called Milk Chocolate, which is kind of like, yeah, like a truffly gray. And I'm just going to work that into my socket with this. 224 from MAC but it's the old brush that's the natural hair one not the synthetic just so you know I don't know what I'm going to do yet I'm just going with the flow to see what happens but I'm going to try and stay away from my comfort zone which is always a bronze lid which would be very easy to do with this palette but there's some other interesting colours in here that I'm going to use so why that I have the option to use I think I'm going to do that instead then I am taking a smaller brush. This is a Louise Young brush. I think it's the L LY38B. The number's rubbed off a little bit, but I'm just gonna go in and create a tighter crease with this little brush. And I'm gonna go back to the first brush with no products on it and just make sure that these two are really lovely and well acquainted and really blended in together. Okay, so what am I gonna do? Right, I'm going to use this colour Frappe, which is this really pale cream colour here. But I am going to need to tidy up my um, lid a little bit so that the colour doesn't go all murky and horrible. So I'm just going to take a tiny bit more concealer and just use my finger to brighten up my lid space. Give me a bit more playroom. Yeah, cool. Right, so I'm going to go back to that brush. This is a discontinued brush from MAC, but it's like the old 239. And I'm going to use this colour Frappe. And I'm going to do a matte eyeshadow look, because I don't think I've done many of those on here. gorgeous palette if you're in need of a new nude get this one I don't know how long it's out for but it's really really nice when I was um, using it on I think I used it on Sunday yeah for the first time on my live and everyone was like oh god you're making brand new stuff and I'm like I'm really sorry you know me I only recommend things I really love and I really love this palette it's really good so you can see how strong you can get this really um, pale color to sit on the lid and I'm literally just using a patting motion to make sure that it's really set into the concealer then I am taking um, this is an old brush from Stila but it's just a tiny little uh, blending brush you can use any brush like that and I'm taking this color burnt amber and I'm going to use that as my inner corner highlight. Yay! Then I'm taking Stubborn Brown Pencil from MAC and I'm going to use this as an eyeliner. For once, and not a lip liner. Which is what I usually do with eye pencils. It's kind of giving me 60s vibes, this makeup, today. But I'm taking this brush from MAC as a 214. And I'm just going to use that, what was it called, black chocolate, which is like the colour of a roasted coffee bean, and just blend that over the top. Another plane. Right, I'm going to take the same pencil, run it underneath. Go back to the same brush, but I haven't put any product on it at the moment, and I'm just using the remnants of what's left there, and just pulling this line out. Then I'm going to go back to that Louise Young brush. Just to really smoke it out underneath. And pull out this wing a little bit more. And just blend this colour a little bit over the corners as well. Just to soften in here too. Then I'm going to take a black hole pencil. Just run it in my waterline. All the way in the inside corner today. And just take it on the outside as well 
like the outside third I think and then quickly with this pencil because it sets really fast just blend it out oh dear somebody is awake and they are not in a good mood and then I'm just using the black chocolate colour to sharpen up the corners a bit then I'm going to go with my mascara so first and foremost I am taking extended play again this time I'm going to do my top lashes and my bottom lashes and then we're going to use some in extreme dimension 3d black lash and really go to town with the mascara now it's a shame that I'm not actually going anywhere I could have like worn this out somewhere but literally I'm going to go and have my shower this morning and just take everything off okay so now hello <laughs> yes bug so I'm just doing a little bit more powder as I've got a bit shiny he wants to come in almost done okay I'm gonna top up my blush same one it's just flower power again from Mac and I'm taking a tiny bit of Bobbi Brown lipstick and Bobbi just in the center so I know that I just changed my lip but I don't like it I'm gonna take it off and then I'm using cork lip pencil all over the lip You could just wear this lip, I think, on its own. It's quite pretty. But we all know that I'm not going to stop here, don't we? I want to use gloss. So I'm going to go back to my Bobbi Brown, um, the new buff one that I got. And if you don't want to contaminate your lip gloss, I put it on the back of my hand like this and then use my finger to apply it because if I use the applicator over the brown, it's going to end up changing the lip gloss eventually. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Then I'm taking a tiny bit of Bobby Brown Bobby just over it. <laughs> this is going to be an interesting video to edit. What does he want? Let him out then, it's fine. Is that a caterpillar? Monday. So finally, I am going to go back to that Vanessa Marix powder in number five. What's that diddle? Yeah. And just do a tiny bit of soft contouring. A really versatile powder this one I really really like it so yeah there we have it this is the second look this is the final one for today uh oh uh oh Amanda was not interested in being on camera I tried but it just wasn't interested um definitely a much stronger look kind of gives me 60s vibes like a modern 60s twist and it's a bit like a cut crease but definitely softer and easier to wear on Sunday I'm gonna do um oh that would have been before this video has gone up but anyway I am gonna do another look with this palette because I think it's really versatile so I'll show something else this was actually really fun to do this was I can't find another way of saying this was fun to do but this was fun to do it's really nice to show something new that you guys can go and get now I really 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 love this palette it's not sponsored it's not an ad I just really like it um I think it's one of those things that you could take on holiday with you and have something to wear every day I'm definitely more of a nude eye person like inside I'm definitely a nude palette kind of girl so yeah this just I got all the feels of this but yeah I hope you enjoyed today's video thank you so much for watching I don't know why but my viewership is really going like 
Oh, I don't know what to do about it, but I'm just going to keep doing these videos and hopefully eventually it will catch up one day. Thank you to everyone who has subscribed already. If you haven't subscribed and you would like to, feel free. It's free. Um, also, make sure you hit the notification bell, whether you are an old subby or a new one. That gives you a notification of when my video goes up so that you don't miss any. I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.